Hello and welcome to the second quarter departmental awards presentation. Each quarter, all the departments at Glenbard West select one student as their winner. What this means is that of all the students that go through this department, all the teachers agree that this one student deserves to be recognized as being special. These students obviously excel academically, but more than that, they help to build a stronger classroom culture. They possess certain qualities that not only push themselves to succeed, but also motivate others. During this presentation, a teacher from each department will share why the student was picked as their award winner. For being named as a departmental award winner, each student will receive a certificate and an award sticker. Additionally, we will display a picture of each student in the main entrance departmental award showcase, as well as on the touchscreen by the auditorium. We hope you are honored by receiving this award and truly understand how important you are in creating a positive culture at Glenbard West. I'd like to thank the parents and guardians who partner with Glenbard West to help students flourish and grow. It takes all of us working together to positively influence the student and school community. Please enjoy your awards presentation. Brooke Benson for the Art Department. It is my pleasure to present Brooke Benson as the student of the quarter for second quarter 2020. Brooke has been in many classes with both me and Mr. Gucciardi and has exhibited wonderful creativity in each class that she has taken. While experiencing some doubts, self-doubt at the beginning of her art experience, her confidence has grown over the years and particularly this year when she decided to take AP Studio Art. Every time that Brooke trusts herself and trusts her creativity, she does absolutely exceptional work that is an inspiration to her peers. Additionally, she critiques her peers so eloquently, providing constructive criticism where necessary, always willing to volunteer, and always making poignant statements that help her peers grow and become better artists. According to Mr. Gucciardi, I will read a statement from him. In painting, Brooke became a strong painter when she started trusting herself in her work. There was a direct relationship between Brooke's confidence as an artist and the paintings she produced. It was great seeing her improve, and I am so glad she is thriving in AP Studio Art 2D. It is a pleasure for both myself, Mr. Gucciardi, and Mrs. Can to present this award to Brooke Benson. Connor Pettit for the health department. Hi, my name is Jen Melzer. I teach health and I'm also the head athletic trainer here at Glenbard West. I'm very excited to nominate Connor Pettit as health student of the quarter. He was without a doubt the first person that came to mind. He's an amazing person and student. He participates in class. He turns his work in on time. And it was so great being able to see Connor at baseball contact days before students came in for hybrid and being able to put a face to a name. In health class, we talk about a lot of sensitive topics, one being on mental health, and today more than ever, it is important to talk about this topic and how to get help as our daily routines have changed. We cover information on different mental emotional conditions, the key warning signs in class, and how to get help. We emphasize the message from NAMI that it's okay to not be okay, and that it's important to ask for help when needed. We typically have NAMI come into our classes to present on this topic as they are a community resource with a lot of valuable information and programs for teens and adults. We recently had Dr. Jonathan Singer presented our GPS series on a community conversation about suicide, student voices, resources, and hope. This was a great presentation for both parents and students. I like that students were able to ask questions and interact with the speaker about a topic that is hard to talk about. Connor is a person that truly cares about people. He was able to apply what he had learned during our first unit on mental health and identify warning signs with a family member. I remember getting the email that he wanted to meet separately on Zoom because he was concerned about a family member that he had just spoken to. During our conversation, he was able to identify some of those key warning signs that he felt he needed to talk not only to me about, but his mom. We talked through this difficult conversation. I told Connor how brave he is for saying something that he is, and that he is doing the right thing. Connor was able to take the step of getting a family member help, even though they did not want to tell anyone. This is the hard part, as Dr. Singer had said, because it puts a lot of pressure and burden on someone like Connor to do the right thing and not worry about upsetting that family member. In the end, he made the toughest decision, but the right one. I'm so very proud of Connor um, and all that he does and showing that he cares and wants the best for people. Although our semester is ending, which makes me sad, it went by super fast, 
Um, I will not see Connor next semester, but I look forward to seeing him play baseball over the next few years here at Glenbard West. Congratulations, Connor. Maria Quadri for Driver's Education. Hello. The Glenbard West Driver's Education Department would like to recognize our student of the quarter. I'm Matt Stacy, one of the driver's ed teachers here at Glenbard West. And we would like to recognize standard student of the second quarter, Maria Quadari. Maria has done an excellent job in the classroom, doing, completing all of her classwork and earning an A this quarter. We're especially proud of her work on a couple of the projects that stand out, her family vehicle project, as well as the road trip. We're excited to have the opportunity to work with Maria. Great job, Maria. Keep up the great work. It's fun working with you. Best of luck in the future. Gavin Schilling for the Family and Consumer Science Department. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Phil Weisick. I am a computer science and business teacher here at West. This is my co-teacher, Mr. Brock, and uh, we're here giving away the second quarter department award uh, for business and uh, computer science here. And uh, we're here, we're thinking, and we're wondering, is Gavin the best? So I'm gonna hand it off to Mr. Brock, who co-teaches with me uh, in consumer for Gavin, just to talk a little bit about him. Over to you, Mr. Brock. So uh, again, my name is Mr. Brock. Thank you, Mr. Weisick. Uh, we are Gavin's cons consumer teachers for this quarter, and we really couldn't have asked for a better student than Gavin this quarter. Not only um, does Gavin do all the things that are expected out of him, but he goes above and beyond um, what is expected. Every single item that he does, he does um, with his full extent and to his, the best of his ability. And the best of his ability is, is it sets a very high bar for everybody else. Um, every single test he's, he's taken and every single homework assignment or activity that he's a part of is one of the best in the class. Um, he's an extremely intelligent kid, um, but it goes far beyond that. Not only is he smart, but he's intelligent, uh, he's funny, and he brings a lot to the table. And he really um, is a, a ground groundwork piece for our classroom environment. And Mr. Weisick, why is Gavin the best? Man, I, like, let, let's, uh, you took a lot of talking points there, but you know what, there's more, all right? Um, I've had the privilege of knowing Gavin now for two years. He was in my AP Computer Science A class last year. So I already knew what kind of to expect this year. But what I think Mr. Brock and I really appreciate about Gavin is that he's consistent with who he is from class to class. He comes to class every single day, camera on, always participates. Mr. Brock does these horrible jokes every Friday. Mine are better. But hey, Gavin's one of those students who's going to go ahead, give a thumbs up and chuckle anyways for Mr. Brock, because that's the type of guy Gavin is. Uh, you know, it, it is stemmed from last year. Uh, Gavin volunteered his time after school to be a one-on-one -on -one tutor for any kid that was, you know, willing to, you know, get some extra help or that was struggling. That's just the type of uh, student and character that Gavin has. And I think that's what we're really pushing here uh, for this, you know, profile of a graduate from West. And I think Gavin fits that uh, right on. I mean, like Mr. Brock already talked about, you know, his academics here and all that, but I mean, there's, there's just not enough to say about Gavin here when we talk about, you know, what he'll result in when he leaves West. I think he's going to graduate from West and represent West out there in the business world or uh, computer science world or any, you know, future endeavor that he does. And I think he's going to represent us well. Uh, with that being said, uh, I think we kind of answered this question. Mr. Brock, would you agree with that? Is Gavin the best? Absolutely. Hey, of course. Yeah. Gavin, congratulations. Uh, you know, good luck. Hopefully next semester we're in person. We can actually, you know, congratulate you in person. But other than that, Ms. Brock, any final words? Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wear a mask distance. We're out. Hey, congrats, Gavin. Olivia Wallace for the speech department. Greetings. We are awarding Libby Wallace with the speech student of the quarter for several reasons. She helped make my classroom a better place by leading by example. Many students are reticent to present, but Libby almost always volunteered to go first or on the first day. Uh, in addition, her presentations fully met all expectations and instruction, but not only that, she would often go above and beyond uh, my instruction and my expectations. And also, when she did her presentations and speeches, she presented with such a, a confidence and such a sense of humor and sense of fun 
that she provided an example, an exemplar, I should say, for all other students in the classroom so that they could achieve and work towards their own uh, public speaking greatness. Uh, I wanted to share just a brief snippet of one of her presentations so that you can see how great she is yourself. The bristles glide upon the canvas like a skier on a mountain. The colors blend together like a beauty queen's makeup. Paint, such an odd substance which creates some of the most beautiful things on earth. It is often thought that painting is a trait which is only dished out to a select few, when in reality, it is an acquired trait. You didn't think that Van Gogh just picked up a paintbrush and made the starry night on his first attempt, did you? Although I am no Picasso, today I'll be teaching you how to paint. To begin painting, we must prime our canvas. Liquitex. Well, there she is. Congratulations, Libby. You're great. And uh, keep up keep up being awesome. Congratulations. Ms. Nelu Suniga for the ELL department. Hi, everyone. This is Ms. Wells, and I am the Yale Bridge teacher here at Glenbard West. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to nominate Liz Zuniga as the EL student of second semester. Liz is a senior from Mexico who came to Glenbard West during second semester of her sophomore year. During that year, she quickly moved up from EL1 to EL2. Last year was in EL3, and currently she is with me in her last year of EL English. Liz is our quiet but mighty leader. She is always willing to participate in class, whether it's in discussion or to read. She is always so eager to help her fellow students, and she always wants to improve her English. So much so that she has become such an amazing writer, and I have greatly encouraged her to pursue writing as she goes to college next year. Unfortunately, in the past month and a half or so, Liz has had some health issues and was out for a while. But since she's been back, she has not only caught up with her work, but she has excelled in everything that she has done. Liz has loved her two years here at Glenbard West and is so grateful to all her teachers, not only in the L department, but all her teachers and all her other classes, and has greatly appreciated all the support they have given her since she's been here. I would like to share with you some of the comments Liz's other teachers have said about her. Mrs. Roy Hariel, one English teacher, remembers when Liz came here from Mexico living with her aunt and uncle and said she fit right in and made friends easily. Miss Henry, her current speech teacher, said despite her health issues, she has worked so hard and with so much dedication. Mr. Sarsak, her physics teacher, said Liz has tried hard to make up her work and she is currently a finalist in the Inertia demo video. Mr. Sanchez, her AP Spanish teacher, said in the short amount of time that she's been back, not only she completed everything, but has done so with such high quality that she has earned a well-deserved five in his class. In Algebra 2, her non-EL math class, Ms. Fiorella says that Liz volunteers and her confidence continues to grow. And finally, Ms. McNally in government said she advocates for her own learning and has a sophisticated analysis of the government of the U.S. All of these reasons are why we are so proud to nominate Liz Zuniga as EL student of second semester. Jane Franz for the science department. Hi, my name is Mr. Byrne and I'm the chair of the science department at Glenbard West. I'm really excited to give our student of the quarter for this quarter to Jane Franz, uh, who is a sophomore in honors chemistry right now. She was nominated by Mrs. Sarzak, who said that uh, Jane has one of the highest grades in her entire class. Over the course of first semester, she barely missed um, any points on any of the assessments that she gave. Um, she was a really hard worker and uh, was just a really uh, awesome person to have in class um, because she was um, so interested in chemistry and so helpful with the rest of her uh, students, uh, in the rest of the students in her class. Um, when we mentioned her at a department meeting, Mr. Kelly also stepped up to say what an awesome student Jane was uh, when she was in honors chemistry last year. Um, and she's just all around uh, the kind of student that we're really proud to honor in the uh, science department at West. So great job, Jane. Uh, thanks for all your hard work. Keep it up uh, second semester and uh, go West. Thanks. John Goodman for the World Language Department. Hallo, mein Name ist Frau Washburn und ich bin Deutschlehrerin hier. Hi, I'm Alicia Washburn and I am the German teacher here at Glenbard West High School. Our departmental award this quarter goes to John Goodman. First of all, what's so special to John about me 
is that I have taught him all four years here. I remember him the first day of school, how he came up to me and introduced himself to me and was just a delight. And he has been every single day for the last four years that I have taught him. He's an active member of our German club. He made a great gingerbread house this year in our contest, which I will not show unless he wants me to. And he's also a member of our German Honor Society. He's never gotten anything less than a five in class. He is always punctual, a hard worker, is so kind to others, and so great and helpful to me in the classroom. This past year, with all the craziness of COVID and quarantine, he's been to every single class with his camera on, ready to go, participating and doing anything that I ask of my students in class. Um, does a great job with his speaking assignments and any projects that we do. So John, congratulations and thank you so much for your hard work and just being a light in my life every day that I come to school. Auf Wiedersehen. Omar Villa Zuniga for the music department. The Glumbard West Music Department selects Omar Villa Zuniga as our student of the quarter. Omar is a strong clarinetist and he has performed with our top symphonic band, pit orchestra, symphonic orchestra, and marching band. He has continued to take private lessons and last year was selected into the District 87 Honor Band. The bigger impact Omar has made is through his leadership as one of the drum majors of the Hilltopper Marching Band. He helped lead our COVID marching band this fall. How do you lead a group of 135 during a pandemic? By being authentic to who you are and by helping everyone, always. We divided our larger marching band into three groups of 45 students and Omar needed to be at practices for eight to 10 hours while other band students only needed to attend a couple of hours in their smaller group rehearsals. He needed to learn the names of everyone even though we spent limited time with them. He needed to move equipment, actually large bass drums and sousaphones, really light things, from the school building into the concession stand that normally students would move, but they couldn't move them because large numbers of students were not allowed in the building. Oh, and then he needed to rehearse the music and prepare drill formations. Lastly, Omar is not the biggest student. In fact, he's not even the biggest drum major. Without a doubt, size has nothing to do with his ability to lead. His voice in front of the band, with a mask on, of course, in COVID times, carries and inspires students to do better. It is one of the loudest we've heard. I remember Mr. Ortega remarked that Omar in a mask projects better than many drum majors, and I would completely agree. His projection and strength when he yells commands helps others feel comfortable that they can lend their instrumental voice to the group, and everyone plays better or marches more confidently. He has complete control of the practice field, whether conducting music leading marching drills, or starting rehearsals with stretching and goofy team building games. He is all in and his voice picks up others when there are plenty of reasons not to engage. It is for these reasons that the music department selects Omar Villa Zuniga as our student of the quarter. Grisen Gutierrez for the mathematics department. It is my privilege to present the second quarter mathematics department award to Grisel Gutierrez. During these times of distance learning, although I did get to see her for three days this semester, Grisel has proven to be a most outstanding math student. In fact, she has stood out as my most exceptional student this year. Grisel quickly picks up on nearly every topic from each lesson and proves it by completing the homework, usually perfectly, in record time. Grisel is extremely polite She's a regular willing participant in the class. She even turns on her camera without my asking. As Griselle's aptitude for math has proven to be so solid, I have encouraged her to join the math team, which she has willingly done so. <clears throat> we also consider her moving to Algebra II with Trigonometry Honors for next year. During these awkward times, it's a great pleasure to have Griselle as my student in integrated algebra geometry class this year, and I look forward to having her as a student next semester. I'm honored, to below, I'm honored to bestow the second quarter mathematics award to Grisel Gutierrez. Congratulations, Grisel. Peyton Skirka for the Technology Center of DuPage. 
Hi, my name is Mary Abutar, and I am the medical terminology instructor here at TCD. I would like to nominate Peyton Skruka. She has been an amazing student from day one. She, even though she wasn't required to log in on her first day here at TCD, because her school, Glenbard West, hadn't started yet, she did. Peyton is always on time, always engaged, and always cheering up the class. Peyton is a great leader. She is also a great motivator, and she works extremely hard in everything she does. I'm excited for Peyton's future in healthcare, and I think it's going to be a bright one, and I wish her all the luck. Thank you. Deepa Fuyel for the Social Studies Department. Hello, uh, my name is Rob Sanders, and today I am excited to announce the Social Studies Department's Student of the Quarter, Deepa Fuyal. Uh, Deepa is currently a junior enrolled in AP United States History with Mr. Bricolo, uh, an AP seminar with Ms. Brandt. And before her junior year, she took World History Honors and AP European History, uh, where I first had the opportunity to work with Deepa. In addition to maintaining a difficult academic schedule over the past three years, uh, Deepa has been heavily involved in a number of activities at Glenbard West, uh, which include forensics, theater, and model United Nations. Um, to be involved in these activities while maintaining such an impressive academic record is a true testament to Deepa's character, work ethic, and many talents. When I first met Deepa her freshman year as her World History Honors teacher, it was obvious that she would be more than just a student in her time at Glenbard West. Deepa brought this maturity and grit that makes her competitive and sought after in any higher academic setting. And I always consider myself fortunate for having Deepa as a student uh, for both her freshman and sophomore years. However, to be honest, having been a Glenbard West student myself that took the same social studies classes that Deepa has taken, I knew that as a student, if I were one of her peers in the same class, I would be immediately intimidated. Her work ethic is unmatched. She is a quick learner of complicated material and ideas, and her in-class contributions seemed to be this just year-long highlight reel of effortless brilliance. Uh, quite frankly, it's a little unfair. Our department, though, believed that Deepa should be recognized as our student of the quarter because while she does have prolific academic strength, um, there is more to Deepa than just an exceptional learner. Deepa uses her talents to make every class she is in stronger. Um, she is not afraid to be wrong and admit her mistakes in front of her peers, which creates a culture of growth that values the process of learning as much as the destination of a final grade. There is a distinct culture of collaboration, achievement, and acceptance, which every teacher seeks to create in their classroom. Deepa is often the, the keystone that locks this culture into place. Um, and for that, the Social Studies Department wanted to express their thanks. Um, and Deepa, I want to say thank you as well. She always finds a way to bring energy and life to activities that bring students together um, and makes learning that may appear natural to her accessible to others. Um, I'll never forget freshman year um, when she played a significant role in this class-wide roundtable discussion over who was to blame for the start of the First World War. Again, something that, you know, after 100 years, like, we still don't really have an answer to. Deepa could have dictated this discussion from the onset. It was obvious. Everyone knew it. Instead, she waited. She coached up the peers in her group, pointed them in the right direction, and waited until the second half of class before she finally addressed the room. As much as she wanted to get in the game, she seemed to know that the best games have more than one star player. Deepa is the kind of student 
that you think would be intimidating. However, she is anything but that. You hope to have a student like Deepa in your class, not because of the grade she will probably earn, uh, but because of who she is. Deepa doesn't write off any day as an off day uh, because each day for her is an opportunity to build a culture at Glenbard West that is truly something special. And this next part goes out to Deepa. Uh, Deepa, after taking a push, you probably remember John Quincy Adams, our sixth president, who is most famous for potentially stealing the election of 1824 and the corrupt bargain. We won't get there. I'm going to ask you to remember something that he said. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Once again, congratulations to the Social Studies student of the quarter, Deepa Fuyal. William Hoey for the English Department. Hello and uh, welcome. We are here to present a wonderful student with the English Department Quarter Award. Uh, he is a senior and he is a wonderful person that we all would like to talk about. Um, we are three of his English teachers that he's had at West. Um, and my name is Mr. Crowley, and I am so happy to uh, present this award to William Hoey. So I'm going to pass it on to Miss Alicia Hollander, who is going to talk a little bit about William as a freshman. Yeah, so I had the pleasure of receiving Will Hoey into his Glenbard West career. And one of the things that stands out to me the most about Will, or that I remember the most about Will, and it's a silly anecdote, but we were doing this beautiful project. He's such a ta talented artist, and he was creating this wonderful poster. And then there was a, I'm going to say, a little bit more artistically challenged student that was collaborating with Will on this poster. And Will's art was so incredible. And I kept thinking to myself, like, if it were me, I would be trying to micromanage every corner of this project so that it would come up to, like, my standards. And instead, Will met this project with such kindness, and he was so encouraging to everybody who was collaborating with him, and all the time just saying the nicest things to all the people that he worked with. And he's one of those rare students that reminds me that it's possible to attain excellence without being necessarily a competitive person, but rather by inviting others into kind of your own shine. And so when I think of Will Hoey, I not only think of academic excellence and brilliant writing, I also think of just um, the importance of a kind heart and the difference that it can make in a classroom community. And I'll send it off to Ms. Thomas Baum, who had the pleasure of teaching him as a junior. I did, yes, I had William in AP Language and Composition and wow, I got to know him just as a really enthusiastic reader and a gifted writer. And I've had the pleasure of also knowing him through the Glenbard. Um, he's been on our editorial board and is now co-editor-in-chief and uh, really deserves that title um, just as his writing is so incredibly impressive. And I think what impresses me most about Will William's writing is that he can really adapt his voice. Um, and I think that's something that he will continue to develop um, post high school, uh, but I look forward to seeing that also second semester um, with his work with the Glenbard. Uh, but I, I love that his voice is sometimes just incredibly sophisticated and uh, sometimes really playful. And I think that um, he has, he produced so much writing that I used as you know exemplars in class, um, clearly a leader and just so excited that uh, I get to help present him with this award. I'll pass it on to Mr. Crowley. So I nominated Will this uh, quarter for his work in English AP literature. And I have to echo everything that Ms. Hollander and Ms. Thomas Baum have said about Will. He is an artist, he has a big heart, and he is an amazing gifted writer. I would also um, add that in reading the book Homegoing uh, this past semester, which has been challenging, of course, because of online instruction and um, it's very difficult to make connections, not only with students, but with text that you're teaching amongst students. William has been able to transcend that flawlessly and effortlessly. Uh, more so, I would even say that 
William is an artist in the truest nature of the word, and he's able to recognize, a, good, a great artist is able to recognize and admire the craft of other artists. And he does that so well in his writing, in his discussion, and in his ability to make connections to himself and the world around him. I, it's been such a joy to read his analytical essays that make these wonderful connections, not only between characters within a text and to himself, but to this larger world around us. And William, I just wanna say congratulations. Thank you for your participation and your engagement and your, your beautiful writing. And I know that having a thinker like you out in the world in the coming years is gonna be something that is really helpful to all of us. So congratulations, William. The English department is proud of you. We're proud of you. And we hope you have a great rest of your senior year. Thanks, William. Bye, Will. Anastasia Gorgul for Physical Education. Commissioner Pete Mistandria, and I am the commissioner of Gold Division. And first of all, I'd like to explain what Gold Division is. First of all, Team Sports Gold Division has a reputation for being an extremely competitive class. It allows students to compete in an environment that promotes the class to be intense, to be disciplined, and to get after it. This class is not for all students and is offered as an elective class for juniors and seniors. Prior to this school year, it was not offered as a co-ed class. We had two different sections of team sports. One was for girls and one was for boys. This year was the very first year we opened this class up to everyone. Very few girls had signed up for this course. I have a warning for all the guys in my class right now. We have a few girls who signed up. And when we finally return to in-person learning, be ready for Stasia. Not only is she enrolled, but I guarantee she will dominate the class. I witnessed her toughness, grit, gumption, leadership on the softball diamond. I was anxiously awaiting for her to be a part of the gold division. And then bam, we started the school online. We ended the school online. We were never in a position where we could witness the old glory days of the past. During online and hybrid learning, Stasia justified her willingness to compete with the class. Three of the top statements of the semester came from Stasia. I personally want to thank her for not only attempting to be in the class, but to inform her that she will be a difference maker once class returns. Beware of Stasia. Stasia, you will be my first team captain, and there is no doubt in my mind the years to come that we have for team sports, the awards we give out at the end of the semester, I will guarantee you that in 2021, Gold Division, we will give out a Stasia Award, who would be the very first young lady who took the leap of faith, jumped in Gold Division to not only participate, but to make a difference. Congratulations, Stasia. You are simply the best. And thank you for not being mad at me for mispronouncing your first and your last name. Congratulations, Stasia. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We'd like to congratulate once again our second quarter departmental award recipients. You've made us proud. Go West.